Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSC 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. Uh, today's lab, we are going to generate a surface model or create topo uh, from one of our Blacksburg source drawings. What I'm starting with is I had a blank civil template drawing and I inserted the civil data. So I now have a full civil drawn from Blacksburg in my land development desktop. So if I looked at my settings, my point label styles, I have them, I'm good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is switch to the prospector tab in the tool space. In the prospector tab is a surfaces section. If you right click, you can create a new surface. The default new name is kind of bad. It says surface and then it's got this funky next counter CP. What that would do is number them one, two, three. So it'd be surface one. I don't like that. I like to name them what they are. So I'm going to type in the name existing ground. So the surface model I'm going to create is from the spot elevations and topo that we have in this drawing. When I OK that, I now have a surface existing ground in my prospector. In the definition of the existing ground are two, four, six, eight, ten different types of things that you can put into the surface. And to add these things, you just right click on them, like drawing objects, right click add, or if I have a DEM, or if I have a point file, I'll use point file directly into a surface if I'm pulling data from a LIDAR, let's say. Okay, um, other things are contours. So what we have here are contours and spot elevations. If I click on a spot elevation, its layer is C spot. Escape that, click on some topo, that is C topo 10. Click on a different layer of topo, see a topo 2. So what I want are the spots and the topo, but I have too much other stuff. What I can do is go into layer, slide down here layer. I can go into layers and go through this whole list, freezing them. I actually can do it fast, I believe, by grabbing the first one scroll to the bottom, shift and grab the last one, freeze, and it says you can't thaw the current layer, or freeze the current layer, that's fine. That froze them all. Now if I go back up, there's a C topo, bunch of C topo, there's a C topo 2, and a C topo 10, and there should be a C spot. Uh, up a little bit more, C spot. What I did was I froze everything and then thawed my two topo layers and my spot elevation layer. I also need to look in 3D and see what these things look like. I'm going to use my view toolbar to view it at a 45 degree angle. And that's when I notice two spot elevations dropping off the screen. I can also use my 3D rotate toolbar to spin things around if I want to. The little green dot is just an indicator that says, hey, you've set up a coordinate system. I tied this to NAT83 south zone feet. This data that's on the floor, if I don't correct it, will make my surface triangles dive down to elevation zero just at that spot. But it should be fairly easy for me to fix by just correcting uh, the elevations. If I look at the properties window on this X, two things I want to look at. One is the elevation of it, which the elevation is at zero, position zero, and that should be 2028.7, but also what it is. And this is a block reference. So my X's are blocks, and that's important to note 
on our data, we will always need to look at the spot elevations and find out if there are blocks, if there are points, or if they are something else. We'll have to find out what they are. So I'm going to fix it by typing in elevation 2028.7. I fixed the X first because if I fixed the text first, I wouldn't be able to see that I fixed it. With the cursor in the model space, I hit escape to let go of that block, even though it's 2,000 feet higher. And I can grab the text and change its Z to 2028.7. Cursor out here, escape. Roll out a bit. I see my other piece of text. 2016.7. Escape, grab the text, 2065 even, escape, done, top view, which is the first one on the view toolbar. Okay, so I have my data corrected. I'm ready to make my surface. In my surface, under Prospector, I have Drawing Objects, right-click Add, and I want blocks because I checked my X and it was a block definition or block reference. I'm doing OK and when I window the drawing, it really is not going to select that topo. It's really just going to grab the blocks and it says, I found 484. When I hit enter, it generated a surface I can't see it, but it generated a surface pattern from those um, blocks. Now, one more thing I need to add to it is the contours. And right-click on Contours, Add. The defaults are great. Weeding and supplementing factors are, if you have too many points at a straight, straight angle, can I get rid of some? Or if I have a long distance, can I add some points in the middle? That's what those are, but the defaults are fine. I'm going to do an OK. I'm going to grab my data again. This time it's going to select the topo. Enter. And I got a bunch of topo in here. And there's an error in my, in my data. Um, I can zoom to it. And it'll show me that something crossed that shouldn't have. I'm going to just ignore that because I really don't care. I can ignore it by just doing the green check to say, yeah, okay, that's all right. But what that was was a topo line crossing itself, which they shouldn't cross. But it's, it's just a data error that's minute, and I'm going to ignore it. It's just a little, yeah, I'm going to ignore it. Okay. What I've done is by making a surface model is I can now put the cursor anywhere in the drawing and the computer should know the elevation although it's not showing up I'm going to thaw all my layers now I can go back to the layer chart grab the first one shift and grab the last one and thaw them all or I can just say minus layer thaw star enter and they should all be back on now Okay, there is a new gray object with a green border, which is my surface object. I can probably grab it so you see it highlighted. It should match right over the topo I've already drawn. And also, if I just leave my cursor sitting, it'll tell me what the ground elevation is, where the cursor is. Leave the cursor sitting tells me the ground elevation. The computer has triangulated between every piece of this data and mapped what we're calling a surface model. And that is, um, well, that was the point of this lab. We created a surface model from existing ground topo. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.